Hello, everybody. Um, I have another prophetic word to give to you, and it is called It's Time Again. And this I heard this morning, March 17th, 2023. Um, at first, we're going to pray always because I want to invite the Lord, Father. Papa, I will talk about that. Papa, I just, I just thank you. I invite you in the midst of us. I surrender myself to you. Jesus, you are so invited here. Holy Spirit, you are so invited here. I just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for every, every word that you have spoken. It was never spoken in vain. It was never just spoken just because you had nothing better to do. Lord, I just thank you that every word you speak has purpose. And I thank you for, for revealing to us what you're doing on this earth, revealing to us who you are and what your great redemptive plan is lord just have your way in the midst of us lord oh it's my dog i'm like what is that noise i'm here it's my dog. lord i just thank you for all that you're doing i thank you father for everything thank you holy spirit thank you jesus thank you papa thank you so much hallelujah i give you praise the glory and the honor have your way have your way say and do whatever you want to do move in any way you want to move in my life, in their lives, if they are surrendered to you, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Show up mightily on the, on their behalf. Hallelujah, Lord. You will forever be given all the praise and glory and honor. Um, the thing the Lord wanted me to share was this morning I, um, and I've said this before that I um, I I listen to my own videos. <laughs> I go back and I listen to those. The, the words that um, I give out because they're not my words. They're not my words. And they are they're God's words and they're life-giving words. And those words, um, they do something to me too. You know, they, they minister to my soul as well. And so I went back and was listening to the one I did yesterday, uh, The Lion in the Desert. And I think right after, I think I just got, you know, a little bit in and I mean I was just bawling like a baby and I I, I wrote it down it was you know but it was just the spirit of the Lord was on it so strong I was just crying first I was like I don't know why I'm that's like how I felt yesterday when I was delivering the word I'm like I don't know why I feel overcome but I overwhelmed and it's because we overcome with emotion it's because his presence is there and I can feel his heart and I can you know, we begin to commune in a deeper way. It's spirit to spirit. And oh my goodness, I was just crying my face off this morning. I mean, I was literally leaning up against the wall, just crying. I had to go to the wall for support. Like, come here, wall. <laughs> Let me cry on you. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it's just the truth. But um, because God is deeply restoring he's deeply restoring he's got such a deep redemptive plan he's playing no games here okay these are no this is no games it, this <laughs> yes thank you holy spirit holy spirit just said this was this was always his end game this was always his end game um you know the devil didn't almost wipe out humanity and he didn't just almost sneak by and you know, have it in his little ugly grasp. No, no, he didn't. Um, he really didn't. And the thing is, be, and the reason why is because, because of the Lord. He's going to have his will his way. He's going to have it his will his way. It's no different when, you know, when Jesus was on the earth. There was, there was opposition, but... Just because the devil thought that he he crucified Christ. Christ laid his life down. Okay. No man. He said in his word that no man's taking his life. But that he lays his own life down. So even though it wasn't like, oh, almost the devil did this. And almost he ruined. No. No. Actually, he didn't. There was a greater plan outside of his dumb self. And he doesn't almost do anything on God's earth. Anything that he does was was 
was permissive or was permitted or allowed. You know, um, the Lord allowed so much, like he allowed so much because of his mercy and his grace and, and those things that allows the people who are wicked to be able to be saved. And also because the Lord specifically says in his word that he's going to show the manifold wisdom of God to the devil. So, you know, how is he going to be showing the manifold wisdom of God to the devil if and how he is many fold? OK, how he's that much wiser, way wiser and smarter and that he's got this all this wrapped up. He's at the end waiting for this to wrap up. OK, because time is in him. Time exists in him. So to say that, you know, oh, my goodness, God almost lost because the devil did da, da, that's being like Satan conscious, you know, there's like a sin conscious and, you know, a demon conscious or Satan conscious. It's like being like everything's like, oh, the devil this and the devil that and, da, 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 da. and he's become so great in your mind when he's not great. It literally says, it literally says, um, I wish I had my phone with me, Lord, I just thank you. Um, it literally says, I believe it's, <clears throat> Ugh, I wish I had my phone with me, but I don't, but it literally says in God's word where he said, <laughs> I believe it was Isaiah is like, is this the, <laughs> this is the one who weakened the nations? Like <laughs> this thing, the, the deceiver, this is it right here. The, this is it. Like, you know, you can imagine him saying that like this right here, him, this one, this right here, this no this like you are the one who weakened the nations really they just people are gonna laugh when they finally see he's no one he is all bark and no bite unless we allow him to be he's all bark and no bite when we're in christ jesus he's no match for us like we're no match for him i should say without jesus because he's still a a um a spiritual being um, who has powers in this world, but he has no power when we stand in the, on the foundation of Jesus Christ. He has no power. That's why the Bible says, I've given you all the power. Jesus specifically said these words, I've given you all the power over the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall hurt or harm you. Like we have the power over the enemy. So just set your heart and mind on those scriptures meditate on them if you if you need to even if you already know it meditate on it anyway because it changes you <laughs> okay so let's get into this it's called it's time again <clears throat> for i the lord this day am telling my children that it is time again for the seas to be split and for my miraculous hand to be seen again on the scene this time this time in proportions not ever seen by man. They'll have to rewrite textbooks once again to include me in them, says the Lord, for there will be no denying my existence when I show up on the scene. Those who wallowed in backwater alleys and clothed themselves with darkness will be set right in their minds, I'm sorry, will be set right in their minds, dressed and at the table of righteous men because I can do anything and my eyes are on those who live in bondage. So that, I just gonna, that's like a Salah moment. We're gonna pause for just a second. You know, that's why the Lord says to pray for these people, to pray for these wicked people, people who are, they're just wicked. They've given themselves over to the devil, but even if they've given themselves over to the devil, they're not living some wonderful life and, you know, they're just full of everything, all pleasantries. It's just, it's just not the truth because in the kingdom of darkness, there's no unity. There's no harmony. They're not without fear. You think the devil it only tortures Christians? Like he's only come after Christians? He tortures everybody. There's no, he does not play. He doesn't play fear. He doesn't care if they serve him. He doesn't care about any of that. He's wicked and evil. And he's not going to be like, oh, because you served me, I'm going to make sure that. No, there's no loyalty. There's no goodness and mercy. He, ha If he's the opposite of God, you have to understand that he's the complete opposite, like the polar, the absolute 
Okay, he's absolute evil. There's trickery and deception. There's fear. They're constantly looking over their shoulder. The Bible says that people who do the will of the devil are in bondage. Okay, that they're in bondage themselves. The Lord wants to set people free with the truth, the knowledge of who he is. Yes, Holy Spirit. Our Holy Spirit is telling me that even when Jesus was being nailed to the cross, he repeated the prayer over and over. Lord, you know, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That He repeated that more than one time. So he said that more than one time. So we need to understand. We need to get our hearts right, our hearts pure, our hearts. What is that? We need to have our, our hearts melded. Is, is that the word you're saying, Lord? melded together with his heart we need to have our heart our heart and his heart like 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 welded together <laughs> and, you know so that we can yes Holy Spirit we can be in tune and that we're not going to find ourselves corruptible so let's go back in here it says I know I know where they are and my church has done everything to disassociate with them with them knowing full well all along that what they needed was me so i mean this can even this is i i had a strong sense when i'm sorry the presence of god is really strong right now i had a strong sense when i wrote this down and he was speaking to me that i'm sorry it's hard to find like i get that the weighty presence of god and i just want to be like lay my head down um Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes. <that's, laughs> I need you so much, Holy Spirit. Um, And I just lost it that quick, Holy Spirit. What, what did you just say to me again? Yes. Uh, I got this very strong sense that these are people who... You know, people who are in drugs, people who are in pornography, people who really need, they need to be set free. People who are in bondage, who need to be set free. And they come to the church or they go to, it doesn't have to be the building. They go to family members. They go to friends who say they're believers, but because they're just chinos, Christians in name only, they they have no power they can't set it. They certainly can't set nobody free. They're in bondage themselves, you know, or they're like, oh, I don't want to be you to even be around me because, you know, that might give off the wrong impression and that might, you know, whatever, uh, dim my light. You, you, your dirtiness can, will dim my light and uh, all of those things. And, and, you know, they, they just completely disown them. <coughs> excuse me, I want nothing to do with them when they really need the Lord. So going back to this, I'm almost done here. He says, I'm clearing out the ledgers and wiping the slates clean in this hour. Some houses will be vacated once I clean sweep. And I know he meant building churches, but um, I know that he meant that, but this could be many, this it's not limited to the one thing that I know that he, that I, I definitely sensed at that time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Usually out my water with me. But, um, you know, he's not limited to the one thing. He could, he, <laughs> he has many layers of what he means. Um, so he says, some houses will be vacated once I clean sweep and I will give them to the ones who are submitted to me, says the Lord. Tick tock, the clock has struck one and your time has come. Either you are with me or you are without me, says the Lord. Because in between on the fence will no longer do anymore, says the Spirit to the churches. So Holy Spirit wrapped that up saying that the in between on the fence will no longer do anymore. And I heard him say uh, Romans 8. So Romans chapter 8, verse 12 through 14. 
So I went there and I got the Amplified. Um, so I'm going to read that. It says, so then, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but not to our flesh, our human nature, our worldliness, our sinful capacity to live according to the impulses of the flesh, our nature, without the Holy Spirit. For if you are living according to the impulses of the flesh, you are going to die. Wow. His spirit is very strong on this. I might read this twice if he wants me to. This confirms where he says, the in-between on the fence will no longer do anymore. Oh my gosh, Lord. Uh, yes, and right here we're up above another line where it says, TikTok the clock has struck one and your time has come. Either you are with me or you are without me me and it's it's saying here um let me keep going where it says uh you know if you're living according to the impulse of the flesh you are going to die it says but if you are living by the power of the holy spirit you are habitually come on you can go play but quiet really that wasn't quiet honey i don't want you to wake up the baby Ready again. Huh? Jenny wants to make me dinner. I know where you are. Okay, that's okay. That that's okay. That's okay. Go play and, and keep shh, and keep your voices down so you don't wake up the baby. Um, but it says But if you are living by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually putting to death the sinful deeds of the body, you will really live forever. For all who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So when he specifically says, when he specifically says here, back up into the prophetic word, when he says, tick tock, the clock has struck one and your time has come. Either you are with me or you are without me. It says right here that if you are not crucifying your flesh, if, excuse me, if you're living by the flesh, a lot of people think that they aren't, but all you have to do is look at scripture and that'll tell you if you're living by the by flesh or not. Are you being habitually living by the power of Holy Spirit, him leading you and guiding you in all things? I'm not saying you need to be perfect, but are you intentionally going to Holy Spirit? Are you intentionally, you know, when things arise in your life, are you, when... Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you have thoughts and words that come up, do you make those thoughts that exalt themselves over the word of God? Do you bring them down into submission? Do you put them to death, being ready to punish those, those thoughts, those words? Or are you just agreeing with them? Are you just agreeing with them? Are you, are you the one that's just, you're saying them? Do they come, habitually just come out of you? You know, like... You know, if you're if you deal with sickness and you're you know you're 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 trying you know you're praying to get healed and you're believing and you know, I'm standing I'm decreeing every single day, but then throughout the day I'm just saying things that completely go against that. You know, um, I'm just agreeing with everything that comes up. You know, it's like oh my you know it's my no it's my back you know you're just in a casual conversation and you're getting on the car and like oh i hurt and someone's like oh what's wrong I'm like oh my back it's just this 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 i had this happen to me and this happened to me and da, 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 da. you're just telling out your telling out your story and what's happened to you and the doctor said it's x y and z and you know but i take this 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 and this for it and you know some days it's good some days it's bad you know, you know it is what it is do you understand that those those words, those decrees, those come out of the abundance of your heart? The Bible says out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. That comes out of the abundance of your heart. So you're not loosing that stuff from your soul. You're just rehearsing it over and over and over again. You're practicing it. You're believing it. You're putting it into practice. And then you just sprinkle a little bit of faith praying and a little tiny sprinkle of, um, you know, decreeing on that. And you think that that's going to produce anything. No, it's not going to produce. It's going to produce death. It literally says that. The impulses of the flesh 
are you are going to die. If you live according to the impulse of the flesh, you're going to die. But then, it, but it makes a distinction at the end where it says, because there's, you know, everybody's like, oh, we're all children of God, and we're all, and that's true, we are all children of God. But it says here specifically, for all those who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God, are sons of God. So it's, you can't just say, well, I am because I'm this and that. That's not what the Word of God says, though. So it's super important that we understand the full scriptures, that we understand these scriptures. That we, we take these, these scriptures at face value instead of trying to be like, manipulate them to work for us. You know, how I want it to be. We have to take it by how he said it. You know, what, he, what he's saying in context. I'm going to read it one more time and then we're going to pray. Unless Holy Spirit wants to do anything else. Or Jesus or Papa. So it says, so then brothers and sisters, we have an obligation but not to our flesh, our human nature, our worldliness, our sinful capacity. No, no, no. Leave that there. Thank you. That's too loud. To, so we have an obligation, but not to our flesh, to live according. And then, or, or so it says our human nature, world, our worldliness, our sinful capacity. Because then it goes on to say, to live according to the impulse of the flesh, our nature without the Holy Spirit. For if you are living according to the impulses of the flesh, you are going to die. But if you are living by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually, that means continuously by habit. It just comes out as a habit. You are habitually putting to death. Hey, quiet, calm down. Don't, no, stop arguing, quiet down. Thank you. No. That's okay, but you can still share. Um, you are habitually putting to death the sinful deeds of the body. Then, so it says, you will really live forever. For all who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. So that's a question I leave with you today is, are you a son of or daughter of God based off of what the Bible says based off of what the Bible says and so that's something that you can take with you to the to with Holy Spirit and sit with Holy Spirit and ask him because you don't want it from your head you don't want your head to be answering the question you want Holy Spirit to answer because he's going to give you the truth you know he's going he is truth he's going to give you the truth it's like him giving you the brutal honest truth but with no hate like no hate or no malice he's just gonna give you the truth and then show you how to get to where you need to be so lord i just thank you uh holy spirit did you need anything else or jesus did you need anything else papa did you need anything to say anything or do anything i just hear the whole i just hear papa saying just you just trust in me just trust in me says the lord Trust in me and know me as the good, good father that you say that I am. Know of me in a deeper and greater way, says the Lord, because I will not let you down. And I do not lie, says the Lord. But you will see great and mighty things I shall do again. I am the same yesterday, today and forever, says the Lord. Okay, Jet and Ace, because you two cannot stop fighting each other. You hear him, but you're just choosing to ignore him. And then he has to get louder and louder to get your attention. And that's just not okay. Do you want someone to ignore you? Then do not ignore him. Because guess what? When you treat him that way, you will be treated that way. Because that's the, that you treat others the way you want to be treated. So you need to apologize to him. Um... So, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Papa. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, I just thank you right now. I just send this word. I speak to every person who's living according to the flesh. And they, they, the Holy Spirit that you're revealing to them that they are living according to the flesh. Lord, I, I thank you for clarity. That they would have a moment of clarity to choose. And... and, and 
and to choose you, to choose Holy Spirit and to live by the Yes, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said he wants me to say it again. Romans, the, the, where it is, Romans chapter 8, verse 12 through 14 is what we just read out of the Amplified. But Holy Spirit, I just thank you that you are giving them the, the choice to choose this day who they are going to serve. Are they going? Because yes, the Bible says you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters. So I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that they're they're getting the opportunity to choose. That they're, they're people are being oh, they're being woken up today. They're being woken up today, and they will choose you. I thank you, Lord, that you are good and you are mighty, and that you endure forever, forever and ever. I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in our lives. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are going out and you are speaking to the people that they are, that they're going to be able to navigate their lives according to your whims and your wills, the impulses of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord. I bind every, I um, I bind every demonic spirit right now in the in the in the spirit realm. I bind them. I bind them with your feathers of iron, Lord. And I send the host of heaven out right now to remove them and to loose every hold, every stronghold, every foothold of the enemy, that it be exposed and obliterated right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that people are being set free, that someone's being set free of neck pain right now. Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing in their lives. I thank you, that the spirit of pride would be exposed, the spirit of, uh, what did you say, Lord? The spirit of... Um, thank you, self-righteousness and the spirit of religion, Lord, that those things will be broken in Jesus' mighty name, that they will be broken. You are broken off today. You are broken off today. I drive you out by the blood of Jesus. I drive you out by the fire of God. Holy fire is against you. I drive you out. I drive you out. I drive you out. I command you off the people off the people that the blinders that the, that's been put up the blinders that's been put up and the and the goggles over their eyes and the scales over their eyes that it falls off today it falls off today you cannot keep a hold on these people any longer i drive you out that the spirit of confusion be broken that 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 endless cycles that they seem to be going through for for years and years and years where that is broken today it's broken. The chains of bondage be broken today now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I send out, um, I thank you, Jesus. I send out your warring angels to make war against the enemy and to drive them out by Holy fire and the blood of Jesus Christ. I speak freedom and deliverance over you now. In the name of Jesus, be free be free now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Lord, I thank you. We are going to be obedient to the Lord. This is being obedient. Go to that Romans chapter 8, verse 12 through 14. Go, go read Romans chapter 8, period. Um, but Lord, I thank you. That way you can see who it is that you should be. You should be a manifested son and daughter of God. That's who you are called to be. But go and read this. Get obedient to his his word get obedient to his word if you want more about living a crucified life just go um uh go on youtube you should already be on youtube but uh go on to, under the uh playlist for um on for fire talk and my on my channel it's really the lord's channel on the bell tower channel go under there the crucified life it's going to be crucify it go click on that and, and go to go through that teaching. It's free because this is the word of the Lord. It's free. You go go sit through that teaching. And then you can start getting, you will see, you get yourself right according to the word of God. So, Lord, I just thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Papa. Whoo, I just release the glory on your people right now. I release this fire that it go out now and burn up the chaff in their life. That the chaff is being burned up. Fire, 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 fire. I release the holy fire on you. Fire, 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 fire. Fire on you now. 
fire on you now that burns up the impurities. Fire, the fire of God. Fire, fire. Send your fire, Lord. Your fire, your fire, your fire, your fire. I release the fire of God on you. Hallelujah. Even while you sleep, you've taken every blanket off because it's just so hot. What is going on? I'm internally so hot. I have no fever. That's because it's the fire of the Lord. Burning up those things in your life that produce no fruit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Shalom.